Hello YouTube, it's your boy Vintage Sterling Finds, back for another watch video. So, I want to show you guys a new tool I found that's working great right now. Now before, if we had a difficult to open watch, I would use this, pop it. But you can see I've bent, I've so I've broken the tip off, now it doesn't work very well. I picked up this at the local jewelry supply store, $14.95 Canadian. Euro tool adjustable snappy case opener. Now, um, I looked online, I got mine from Lacey West in Canada. I'm not sponsored by them, I just shop there. You can pick this up in American jewelry suppliers for 10 12 US. So, how this works is we have this watch, it's an Arnett digital LCD watch. If we look Somebody tried and tried and tried and tried to open it, but couldn't. This wasn't me, by the way. So, I put in this tool, nothing. So, I've used this tool quite a few times, and I'm going to show you how this tool makes the job way, way easier. You can also loosen it. There's a spring in here, by going like this makes it looser. I like mine as firm as possible because you have to apply a little bit of pressure. So, I like to use this a watch holder. We have to open this up a little bit. One second. So, my apologies. I just had to take the strap off because with the strap it wouldn't fit. The watch is a little bit bigger than you'd think. So I positioned it, tightened it down. Now you don't have to use this block. I just do because with I don't want the tool hitting my hand. So all you do is you go like this, put the tool in, apply a little bit of pressure, give it a little twist, and it pops off. Sorry, the case went flying, that was quite violent. Um, one sec. So that was quite violent. It sent the case above my head. We got it back. So um, it's missing a screw. I'm not super worried about that. So we'll just put that in. Like so. We'll put the case back on. Now I will come back at a later date and put on the screw. I just have to find another one. And we can just use our hands. We'll have to use a um, press to put that on. But as we can see, the watch is working. So this was really hard to get off. So I'm sure this is going to be quite hard to put on. That's the flip side. So um, I'm going to show you guys how we can put this back on. So we are back. We're going to use a case press. And um, we have this one flat one. So we're going to put the watch like this. Then I'm going to use the 40 millimeter because I don't have one that fits this better. And I want to use this one on the bottom. And the 40 millimeter is going to go like this and push it in. Like so. Make sure this is lined up where we want it. It is. Nice. There we go. Like that. Now. This is going to take some force, so I'm going to stand up. Hope you guys can see. I'm not looking at the screen. Did that do it? Did it? Half of it. Let's try again, because I only did half of it. So now we did this side, now I'm going to do this side. thinking that did it there we go so I'm gonna put back the watch and show you guys how it looks so the watch is back together I set the correct time a um, little bit big on me it's not my style of watch it's very wide um, my wrist is about six and a half inches this is probably about seven um, but all in all nice little watch
I got this from with a couple other things for 10 bucks cash. I'm happy with it. To set the time, you just, there's a little button there, press that. Set the time, press it to set. Overall, good video. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Try to hit a thousand subscribers. Thanks. See you on the next one.